All right, uh, let's go live to Durban now. We're joined by EFF uh, Deputy Secretary General, Khlengiwe Mkhalipi. You saw her there. Uh, to elaborate, thank you for being with us. Uh, and uh, I guess in a nutshell what you're saying is that this was two uh, rival factions of the ANC killing each other. Yes, um, we are saying as the FF there is no political law that is taking place in KZN. So what is happening in KZN when we see people are killed is the factions that is taking place between the ANC. And we qualified that by saying that uh, those factions are characterized by their resources. They are fighting over resources. So one faction wants to eat and the other faction is also fighting to eat. So if the commission is saying there is a political killing of uh, political leaders in KZN, they must tell us which are those uh, political killings that are taking place because there is no war between political parties. There is no war between EFF, there is no war between NFP, IFP, but there is a war within the ANC itself. So therefore we are saying to the commission, this commission was not even uh, supposed to take place in the first place because murder must be treated as murder. So politicians must not be assimilated to be treated as special people because now they are being killed within the ANC. So we are saying in the sense that the ANC is lacking leadership to deal with their internal matters. Surely, even if it's uh, two factions of one party, it's political. It doesn't have to be different political fa parties fighting each other. This is two factions fighting for resources, you say. That's, that, that's what politics is, uh, basically the, the fight for power. But you are saying that the terms of reference need to be corrected. It's wrong to say that there is political killing. That is our main point uh, and the argument that you are making in the commission to say that there is no political killing. That must be clear because we are using the people's money just to advance the factions of the ANC. And then we are spending those monies instead of taking that money to be done in the service delivery. So we are saying ANC must go and correct itself. So it, it is a misplaced concept to say that there is political killing in KZN. Mm. Is, isn't this bigger than the ANC? Because uh, the, the whole argument is that in a lot of cases, no action has been taken. Uh, some suggestion that the uh, police are being protected, part of political uh, patronage networks, not to take action. But that's a, a serious uh, situation. You have families of, of people murdered, killed, with, with no sort of comeback. No, exactly. That, that is our point, to say that there is no centre in the ANC. The centre is not holding in the ANC. So we are exposing that uh, the ANC does not know how to deal with what is happening within the ANC. So we are saying that they are abusing power because uh, commissions in KZN were set up by the Premier of KZN. But the very same Premier of KZN used to be the Deputy Chairperson of the ANC. The very same Premier of KZN used to be the Deputy Chairperson of the SSCP in the province. Surely what is happening in KZN, the Premier who commissioned this commission to take place have a first-hand information on what is happening within the ANC. So we are saying to those families who happen to be councillors who are being killed in KZN, but now they must go back to the ANC and demand answers within the ANC because our view as the FF is to say that the killing that is taking place within the ANC is because of the resources. They are fighting over resources. There is a corruption in the center of everything. Mm. So now the ANC must take in charge and correct what is happening within the ANC. Even if you're right, uh, Ms. Mkhalipi, uh, wouldn't this be a beneficial exercise to go through if not the ANC uh, is held to account, but the police have to be held to account if they are not taking action uh, on, on nearly 100 cases in, in one hostel? So, so surely there's something wrong, and, and like I keep saying, it's, it's not just a political matter within the ANC if the cops themselves are not taking action. Exactly. We are gratefully of what we are saying because we are also challenging the management of the police to say why they are not doing their work because this is pure murder. All murder cases must be treated equal. It must not be now 
be treated if uh, there is a special something about the politicians. If someone, just an ordinary member that is being killed somewhere in KZN or anywhere in the country, if he's not a politician, but that case must be treated by police. But now what you are seeing is, is police management. They are not doing anything. They are not arresting anyone. So we are also questioning that. But where is the role of police in everything? Mm -hmm. So we are basically saying that uh, uh, the institutions of government must be seen by doing their job. They must not just be relaxing and then we have to take a wrong decision to say let us establish the commission of inquiry. We are saying the police must do their work. They must arrest everyone who seems to be uh, uh, killing people in KZN. Do, do you have members on the ground who are aware of the situation, who understand uh, the, the seemingly uh, ineffectiveness of, of the police in this situation? Yeah, uh, in the commission today we have uh, presented our cases. Uh, we have uh, exposed uh, some of the things that was happening, especially during elections. And one of the members was from Ward 22 in Clermont, who was being attacked 21 times uh, by the ANC members because he's an EFF member. So we also been uh, exposing that to the commission to say, here, yeah, these are the cases. We have open cases uh, at Squadda Bega Police Station and in some other parts of, the, uh, of KZN, like at MJ Beni. Uh, but there's no arrest that is taking place. So we have members on the ground who have been attacked uh, by the members of the ANC. And even in the commission, we're exposing some of the ANC ward councillors. We just gave them the cell numbers uh, to say that we have opened the case against these members, but there's no arrest that has been made. So our members are fully aware of what is happening on the ground. And we have been reporting these cases in the police. Uh, there is only one case that was also very fascinating in 100 when a young, a young student, a young man was coming from school and we were campaigning there before the 2016 local elections. And a ward councillor was beating that young guy into such a way that uh, we have taken this matter to the police station to open the case. But there's no arrest that is, uh, has, has been taking place. Mm. That's what you are questioning as well, which what is happening. All right, uh, whether it's political or not, it seems like things have to change in Queensland to tell. Uh, thank you for uh, outlining your stance, EFF Dec uh, Deputy Secretary General. Thank you, uh, Kalipi.